Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Jorik. Hope you're doing great wherever you are. Um, first time ever making back-to-back -back videos and publishing them on the same day. I just made a video a few hours ago about uh, Portugal corruption and just learning a little bit more about politics and how things work. And the Prime Minister home was raided uh, this morning. And uh, amazing what happens when you go for uh, go to the gym to get a workout in and then you come back and you find out the prime minister has resigned so i just uh, started getting some texts and emails so i wanted to relay this information that prime minister costa has submitted his resignation and there are many questions that are being asked about this now political questions i don't know how the the process works i'm seeing some comments on my initial video on what the next steps are uh, politically and structurally how things may unfold with having a new prime minister in place at some point. So I thank you for submitting those comments. It's greatly appreciated because I need all the education that uh, you want to send me. Um, but with that, there are questions that people have been asking foreigners, like in, in the middle of the immigration process right now, how does that impact us? Or the NHR, which is hotly contested from a foreign standpoint, because a lot of foreigners want to keep that. I think a lot of locals would prefer that it go away. What will happen? Well, the budget is due to be, I believe, approved at the end of November here. I want to say November 29th, so just a few weeks from now. And that's where the NHR, as we know it, would terminate. And there's this one sliver that would stay open for like science, technology positions, teaching positions. So we'll see how does this impact. I have no idea, uh, quite honestly. I just, I hope that there will be some comments below. And quite frankly, this is fresh, so it may be too soon to tell what will happen as the events unfold here. Um, but I don't know, and the other comment or theme that people have been asking is, is this good news or bad news? I'm not sure, depending on your political affiliation, it may be a good or bad news. As far as a foreigner, someone that's in the immigration process right now, let's say you just got here or you haven't moved here yet, or you're thinking of moving in 2024 or 2025, I am the wrong person to ask that I don't, and I, I wish I knew some content channels that focused on politics that could give you some good insight. I will say that if you follow online newspapers, uh, publico.pt and expresso.pt are what I use to try to get uh, more involved or to educate myself because sometimes the news channels on TV don't really do deep dives, but those two newspapers, in my opinion anyway, seem to do a really good job. So if you're looking to find out how this will unfold, I would encourage you, and you can change, I think, the language into your language to be able to read it if you don't know Portuguese. But I would follow probably those two, or if you have the ability, to, and if you know Portuguese, to be able to follow the, the television channels. This is what's all the local channels. This is what they're covering right now. So it's worth probably trying to sit back and take in as much of this information as you can in order to determine uh, what the next steps are for you, but more importantly, what's happening here in Portugal, what the next steps are uh, as Prime Minister Costa has uh, submitted his resignation today. As always, thank you for sticking with me and enjoy your day.